Hey everybody, welcome in, and it's time. We are two tokens short. I've got some energy. Surely this is gonna be it. Now I. <sighs> there we go. There we go. Now I only had nineteen tokens to go at the start of this frozen event, and it's taken me this long to get them. That's how kind of bad my drop rates have been but we made it which is a bonus well not a bonus but just happy that we made it um so it is time for us to jump in and do the final into the unknown and get ourselves the full seven star frozen crew so we will be toying around with a on a three star so i met oh, like i went in and i was pushing the limits earlier so i didn't get one three star but i want a three star this one so we will get a character that's going to be helping us maybe i can go with genie or i can go with a big tank maybe jasmine and just call raja or i can go with with someone like that who's going to help defend or christoph already defends so, depending on the strategy, I can go with the bucket strategy, and that should just help me uh, wind on down as long as I'm using shadows. But I can also use the strategy that you use for tower. So, I can use this strategy that. Here we go. Let's go. Ta da! Elsa. All right, let's see if. Jasmine. Jasmine should be able to. I'm just going to use her offensively and then summon Raja when I need to when I need to uh, defend. So that's going to that's going to be the idea here. And then I'm just going to stack uh, Sven up and use him as the assist the assist monster. So I am going to summon Raja straight away just because I can get Anna's oh, I suppose they can attack but might as well chew through and then save that until I need some defending. But I'm just going to use Sven for that assisting and get as much as I can. Get as much attacks in there as, as I can and assists. Just going to stack up the crits and then just chew through people. That's that's kind of what Sven is good for. So what, what do we want to do? Do we want to give tactics? I don't really need to give anyone tactics. I suppose I'll give Sven tactics. And then he can assist everybody guaranteed. But I'll hold up until he's at least got an offense up or something like that. I know he does, those do come around. So now I could either summon um, a troll just for extra bait. But that's probably a bad idea going forward. Is that I probably want more shadows than I do want than I do want trolls. So Let's go. Let's get some attacks in here. We've got the bucket ready. So we'll drop the bucket and then we should get all the assists sorted. And now we get the crits. We've got the shadows with the crits. So this should be this should be right about fine. So boom. And this should be just a shoe in now. So, so that's that's kind of what people have been liking doing with with uh, Sven. Is that running him in assist teams and just hiya using him just like that and he is a monster. He is a monster when he is dealing out the the crits and we've got the offense up which is perfect. Now now what do I want to be doing with Christoph? I'm just gonna get the charm on, see if I can block the Ah, oh, I thought it was meant to block. Okay, so maybe it's only silence. I was just doing it to see if I could block the armor, but it didn't work. She gets a cleanse. All right. So I could use a use a shadow clone just right about now, and then just make sure I've got the crits up. That's all I need to do. Just keep shadowing and get those crits, and it looks like we're just going to run away with this. That means we are going to be having that seven star Elsa and my frozen crew. Everyone but Anna is gear tier five. So they're, they're doing what they need to do. They're, man, this team's a monster. Now, 
there's going to be some big questions after this. Let's go. We're going to get Seven Star Elsa. We're going to have the full Seven Star Frozen crew. Now it's going to be, do we level them up? There it is. There's the final 100 Elsa tokens. So, this is easily doable. So they rec recommend Gear Tier 6, but you don't need to invest that far into it. You, As long as you have, I didn't even need to have Jasmine there. I didn't even need the taunts. The team is just that good that you don't really need it. So, we've got a 7 star Elsa. I'll upgrade her just for uh, Conquest. So, at least the team that she's on will at least have now a 7 star. But she's lacking the gear. Same with the rest of the crew. Now, the question is, Elsa is one of the most OP characters in the game. We've got her 7 star. I went all on her the first time. We've got her 7 star now. Do you want me to... To be using her. Do you want to see me using her? Do you want to see me running frozen teams or different hybrids and create some different strategies using them? Now, I'm probably leaning more towards like Sven as a fun character to make some strategies around. And I know some people have already done strategies around him, but it's probably a little bit more up my alley. So, this is my frozen crew. What do you want me to do with him? You, as my viewers, do you want to see me running this team? Do you want me to see it running at low gear and then level them up eventually and do high gear and see the difference or see if they can compete at low gear? Or do you want to see me not use them at all? Just leave them there and have them as a little like trophy boom done the first legendary event got them all or more so just work towards a hybrid and use one or two of them and see how good each of them can be outside of the frozen team so like Anna I use her tons and majority of the builds that I make because she is one of the best one of the best supports in game and can carry whole teams same can be said about Elsa but She's out. She, I like Anna because she's support. She can help and bring up a team. Whereas, sorry, Anna. Whereas Elsa is more of a I'm OP. I want to carry a team. I'm just going to silence and unavoidable damage and stun everything. We know she's OP. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys want to see me doing with these ones? I may, to side note, I may need to level these up just for conquest sake, for my club's sake. Because they are so OP to have more OP defences. Uh, it would kind of be slacking of me to leave them this lower gear. Maybe at least take them up to gear tier 6. For the sake of defending uh, in, in our clubs. But, I'm not sure at this sake. So I want to hear from you guys. Where do you want to see me go? What do you want to see me do with this crew on the channel with the things I've mentioned? Or if you've got other ideas, drop them in the comments below. I can't wait to see what you all think. And let's go. We've finally got them all. The, all the legendary first event. Got them all. Got to catch them all. <laughs> no, they're not Pokemon. But we do have them. So I am going to play around with them eventually. And I can't wait to see what you guys think.